Are you thinking about picking up a Line 6 Amplify 75? Of course you're not. But I just might be able to change your mind about that today, right here on Geargasms. Hi kids, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host Alan Barnes and today we've got the Line 6 Amplify 75 Watt. I've had it for a couple of years. I figured it was time to do a video about it. Just recently I used it in an Epiphone 339 Pro demo. It was kind of a pain in the ass. It's kind of quirky and that sort of gave me the idea that maybe we should do a follow-up video just about the Line 6 Amplify. We're going to go through some of the settings. We're going to go through the app. It does have an app that works for your phone. We'll play some stuff through it, give you an idea of what it sounds like. We'll talk about the pros and cons of the, the amp and the platform itself. But first, the data. It's got a drive knob. It's got your EQ knobs, an FX knob, of course a reverb knob, and a volume. This, of course, is the front of the amp. It has an 8 inch Celestion speaker, two mid range tweeters, and, and two treble horns inside the box there. Full stereo, sounds really good with, with backing tracks coming through it. Has four built in presets that you can switch through. You've got a headphone out, you've got auxiliary in, you've got a place for a foot switch, and a USB out. When I first come in, I come into to my tones. And these are the tones that I've saved on my phone. I, they, I've mostly downloaded them. You can select it by touching it. You can go hit the arrow, and now you can edit it. And as you can see, it says Screamer there. That's the old tube Screamer. But if you, if you press the little gizmo button there, you can see it uses icons to kind of tell you. Sometimes it'll put the name in there, like Fuzz PI. That's a big muff. They try to get cutesy with the names. But often the picture of the, the graphic will tell you what kind, of a, what kind of a pedal it is. You go into the amp and you can push the amp button. And again, you can go from American, British, they've got like four categories. But again, you can sort of tell what they're talking about. They use tricky words like tweed and blackface, things that aren't copyrighted by Fender or Gibson or Marshall. And you can sort of tell by the graphic what kind of an amp it is. This interface is very intuitive. It's very fast for tweaking patches. I absolutely love the layout of it. And of course, if you want to modify the sound even more, so you get drive dynamics, then below that you have mods, delays, and filters. And if you're a Line 6 Helix user or Spider 5 or any of the more modern Line 6 amplifier platforms, you'll see that they've pretty much color-coded the effects types the same way they do on, the, on those units a whole bunch of different delays and we'll get out of the delays we'll go into the modulations again all kinds of choruses flangers univibes tremulos and then in your reverbs similarly you can pick from spring that are associated with specific amps then you get into rooms plates halls all that kind of stuff you can save these to your tones you can also make a sub list with just your favorites you can store your tones in the old cloud there. Now a word about the tones. Often they're just complete garbage. All right, we're gonna run through some of my favorite tones on this thing. There's a million of them. You got to see how the app works. But hearing is believing. This is the Fender, just a standard Fender clean with chorus. Sounds gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. 
YouTube copyright claim ID, will that trigger it? Lord only knows. Just go to standard Fender Clean without the chorus, just so you can hear just how good it is. You can get all kinds of fun artist bass type presets. Here's one I kind of fond of called Jimmy Fuzz. Before I forget, it's t-shirt shout out time. Today it's the Struts. They're kind of a newish band. They're from England. They've been around for a few years. I saw them open for the Foo Fighters. Very, very much steeped in early 70s Brit glam. I absolutely love them. If, now this thing will also do really beautiful, gorgeous, high gain sounds. I know you don't often hear the word beautiful and gorgeous with high gain. familiar kind of tone. We looked at some of the celebrity type Line 6 patches here. Let's find something, some of the Van Halen stuff. Now if you've ever downloaded anybody's patches for Van Halen, on any platform where you can download tones, you'll know that there are so many stupid people out there that have no idea what Eddie Van Halen's tone sounds like, and it's just the biggest cesspool of all. Anytime I see a tone with brown in it, which is the legendary Eddie Van Halen brown sound, you can almost guarantee it's gonna be brown all right, but not the kind of brown you're looking for. This one's called Unchained. <laughs> Now you notice I didn't take the song all the way around to where it's supposed to go. That's because YouTube's content ID is getting hyper aggressive and I don't need that kind of crap at all. Let's pick another one here, Uncle Alan, which is like the creepiest thing I could ever call myself because I don't really have any blood nieces or nephews. This one's just called Van Halen. Let's see what it sounds like. bad and then of course the amplify itself we talked earlier about having four tones available on the guitar this thing has banks just like the spider series with built-in stuff that line six did these are generally better than the user tones there's a, as you can see there's a whole lot of different kinds of things there a lot of them are based on songs it also has a tuner built in which is handy it mutes the output Level control, you can control the overall level of the amp and then the guitar levels. And that's very useful when you're jamming to tracks. You can, you can sort of change your guitar relative to the entire mix. Now you get into your music, you can play your music, that's anything that's on your iPhone up top there. You can do jam tracks. They've got some that are built in. They're pretty much god awful, but it gives you something to noodle along with. I think it's royalty free. And then finally your settings you can turn off the god-awful auto-tone loading and I think I'm gonna do that right now because one thing the amp will do is when you pick a song 
it'll take that song's data and go out to the Line 6 cloud, and it will attempt to find a tone. Let's say you're playing the Scorpions, Rock You Like a Hurricane. It'll know that. It'll go out and find some patches that people have made. It seems to just pick the first one on the list, and it gives it to you. It may sound like the Scorpions. It may not. It's frustrating in that it, it delays, and often the, the, the unit locks up when you're doing that. Well, kids, what did we learn today? We learned that the Line 6 Amplify, it's kind of a fun tool. It's kind of a toy. You definitely don't want to buy it and gig out with it. You could maybe record with it. It's kind of noisy at times, depending on which patch you put in, but it does have a decent noise gate, so maybe there's that. I didn't have time to show you one of its most fun features, which is playing your music through it. If you can make it stop with a god-awful auto-tone search. If you play your music through it, you can sort of control where your guitar sits in the mix. It sounds very natural, much more natural than any other MP3 player input to any other amp I've tried. It's a very, very good practice tool for that. It has a lot of really smartly designed functionality. The main flaw of this thing in terms of just using it at home and having some fun with it, it's the app. The app itself is very easy to use, so let's just narrow it down to the Bluetooth implementation on the app. Very, very often when you're in the middle of rocking out, it didn't happen in this video, but you'll become disconnected, it'll lose its mind, and then you have to wait. Sometimes you have to bounce the app. Sometimes you have to turn the amp on and off. That kind of gives you shrinkage when you got your mojo rolling and you're trying to rock. The Line 6 Amplify 75 watt, of course 75 watts of solid state power, it's not super loud. I think I paid $350 for it several years ago. It's down to $250 now, not because they've gotten any cheaper to make, but because it's not really been a great seller for Line 6. It's certainly a very narrow niche kind of product. I love it in particular just for practicing, getting instant tones. I've used it in more than one of my YouTube videos without telling anybody if I need something quick. I don't want to fool around. I just want to throw a mic on something, get a reasonably good tone. It's very flexible. The sounds are really great. The effects that are built into it are really great. They're not Helix great, but they're very, very good. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications. We're always going to try and make this fun and informative. As always, thank you for your time. I'm Alan Barnes saying I hope to see you here again on Geargasm.